looks a little gloomy out there. It looks a little gray. We have it this morning and by this afternoon, by this evening, we actually get the sunshine back. So the little hiccup in the forecast is just this morning. And good. a lot of us waking up to some wet pavement. We had some rain showers through the overnight. Very, very light stuff. Here's a look at the Fox River in Waukesha right now. Still running high. We had a ton of rain at the end of last week. So notice those river levels way up here on the uh, on the bottom side of the dam. So the good news, the rain showers we had this morning, very, very light. Didn't add much in terms of drops to the bucket. Didn't make these waterways rise at all. But the good news, I guess, uh, enough that we've kind of helped at least the fire danger a touch. Here's the radar picture. Notice that little line extending down basically through Lake Geneva. Racine getting in on that right now. It is through downtown Milwaukee. Areas north of 94 were in the clear. Now we still have the clouds, maybe a couple of sprinkles, and I think kind of that gloomy scene, maybe a little mist or drizzle till about 9 o'clock this morning. Then we'll see that all exit, and then we'll decrease the clouds from there. South of Milwaukee, still probably a good hour or so with just this very light rain shower activity through Kenosha County, as you can see the back edge of that just moving through Lake Geneva. As mentioned, fire danger for southern Wisconsin is in the moderate category, much worse as you travel north, especially north of Highway 29 in the very high zone. Currently, there are no wildfires burning in Wisconsin, so that's the good news. Of course, the light rain, it only helps things that we're seeing right now. However, and you did hear, we did have one wildfire burning in Ozaki County yesterday, so it doesn't take much, just a moderate risk, and we can see some of that uncontrolled burning get out of control a little bit, so keep that in mind with these low humidity levels. Temperatures 40s and 50s right now this morning. In fact, most of us in the 50s. The one lone 40 in Port Washington and Sheboygan at 48. Hopefully you like these temperatures because we really don't move much for the day today. These rain showers associated with a cold front, they slide out by 9 o'clock like we mentioned. We then switch our winds to the north to northeast and that will pump in colder air for the day today from our friends in Canada. So thank you, Canada. And we'll, our lakefront areas with that northeast wind will also stay a touch cooler, of course, that lake influence that we all know and love so much. By noontime, we continue to decrease the clouds, kind of a mix of clouds and sunshine at this point, but notice it stays breezy about 10 to 20 miles an hour with the winds all day today. So it's a nice cold wind. By this evening, we have the sunshine back. Unfortunately, not the really warm sunshine that we had yesterday, but it's sunshine nonetheless. By nine o'clock, clear skies will take us through the overnight hours into your Monday morning. Your drive to work tomorrow, doing all right. We have calm winds and a lot of sunshine and a nice day on the way for your Monday. So the only little hiccup is this morning, basically between now and noon. High of 55 today on the lakefront. Our inland areas make it into the lower 60s, but also breezy. Northeast winds 10 to 20. Tonight, clear skies, a little on the cool side. Low temperature down to 43 degrees. Here's your seven day forecast again. We get the sunshine back this evening. It sticks with us for Monday. It sticks with us for Tuesday with a nice warm up. 62 Monday, 69 by Tuesday, Wednesday, the afternoon time frame. We want some showers and thunderstorms develop. Thursday and Friday is not a washout. This will be scattered activity. There will be dry time between those showers, and I think our next good chance of rain will be again on Saturday. And this definitely feels more like spring, doesn't it? It does, and when we go between the rain showers and the sunshine, grass, yeah, make sure that lawnmower is uh, up to snuff because the grass is going to grow a ton in the next week. And have all different.